Hey church family, uh, thanks again for joining me on It's a Good Day with Pastor Greg. Oh, what an amazing day this is. I am sitting here in my vehicle uh, enjoying the sunshine and I am just so uh, tickled. Uh, you guys know I grew up in Florida and the winters here get awfully long, uh, but I'm so excited now we've got sunshine coming and uh, I'm in my short sleeve shirt and uh, I'm just so happy, so happy. So it really is a, a really good day. It's just a really good day. Hey, so uh, on Sunday, we talked about 1 Timothy. Next Sunday, it's 2 Timothy, if that makes sense. And uh, in 1 Timothy and a little bit in 2 Timothy, uh, Paul gives some instructions uh, about um, how we take care of people in our churches uh, who are in need, and he specifically talks about widows there in First Timothy, and uh, he talks about looking after the widows and, and that kind of thing. Uh, and then he, he says this neat little part. So he talks to, he says, if there's any believing children there or relatives, even it says if even if there's a a believing relative, if you've got a if you got a widow in your family, you are called. Put your faith into practice. And you look after that person. You look after that widow. Um, and so uh, there's a number of things. You know, Pastor Amy preached on Sunday about how the church is the family of God. Um, so, uh, you know, we just it really, we're just called to help each other out and look after one another and, and do that kind of a thing. And I think it's such a good thing when we're able to band together, you know, look in our own house, see within our own house, you know, is there... Um, are there people that are in need? Let's do that. Many of you have been doing that in this COVID season. You know, as we've been looking around, thinking about, is anyone lonely? You know, in our own house, you know, uh, are there sisters or brothers or cousins or or part, people that are part of the family of God that are, that are uh, hurting within our own house? Let's look after them. And you've also reached out. You know, let's look out into our community, in our own little communities. Are there people that are hurting or lonely? And let's look out for them. Um, so you've been doing that. So I commend you to continue to look out for those that are hurting or lonely um, or, or just need a, uh, someone to be there for them. On that note, we shared a post today. Um, sorry, my my van makes funny noises every once in a while. That's what that is. Um, uh, on, a, on our Facebook post today, we shared that the um, uh, the, the there's a, a group in Grand Prairie, the Rotary House, is looking after looking for clothing. I want to share with you a quick little story. Um, some some big duffel bags were given to I think the Rotary House. It was either the Rotary House or St. Lawrence Center. Um, Horse Lake First Nation realized they've got some family members that are hurting in Grand Prairie, so they made up these amazing duffel bags. They had sleeping blankets in them. They had I think they had tents in them and, and clothes and some food and, and different things like that. And they sent these duffel bags into Grand Prairie for some of their people who were hurting um, and living on the streets in Grand Prairie. And when I look at our community, we've got some community people uh, who who would include we would include Horse Lake First Nation, some community people living on the streets in Grand Prairie. And I wonder what we're doing uh, to help out the people in our own community uh, who are hurting. So I think let's put this First Timothy. Um, idea into practice, this principle of let's look after the people that are in our own neighborhood, or pe the people that are in our own community, um, including people that maybe you would never talk to, uh, people who might be um, uh, afflicted, uh, living on the streets, who might be um, hurting or things like that, um, people who you may not know, they may not be blood relatives of yours, but they're part of our community. And let's see what we can do to help them. So one of the ways that we talked about, we shared a post today on our Facebook page, um, about uh, helping out by doing a clothing drive. So at Beaver Lodge Alliance Church, we are accepting clothing. So I went out and I got some, you, can you guys see that? Some socks. Um, so uh, $8 at Superstore, a uh, pack of six, I think six socks uh, that you can buy. And um, we're going to be gathering up and collecting socks and, uh, and um, uh, different things like that, clothing, um, different things like that that we can gather up for Rotary House and St. Lawrence Center. And so I just, I put this challenge out to you. You know, here's my challenge. Here's my challenge. I want to gather and get 500 pairs of socks 
to give to the Rotary House or and to St. Lawrence Center. 500 pairs of socks. So I've got eight pairs of socks here. Uh, that means that we need 492 more pairs of socks to gather together to give out uh, to the Rotary House and to St. Lawrence Center. So uh, bring them in, bring them into the church, bring them in this coming Sunday, drop them off midweek. Uh, we'll start gathering socks up and uh, I, I'm gonna give you two weeks from now until Sunday, April 25th. Um, I've got, so you've got less than two weeks now. I'm gonna give you two weeks to gather up 500 socks to give out to St. Lawrence Center and Rotary House in Grand Prairie to look after people in our own community. So there's my challenge. You know, brothers and sisters, I hope you guys join me on that. It'll be exciting to see what we can do if we band together. Uh, let's see if we can pull this one out. So blessings on you this week. I pray that you would find a family and you would find uh, people that you can connect with all over the place and you administer them as, as Timothy, as Paul tells Timothy to do and as well as God tells us to do as we are the church as we behave like the church, as we go out there and be Jesus Christ, be the church to our community. Blessings on you. I'm looking forward to seeing what this will look like. Uh, we'll see you. We'll see you later.